It wasn't all push-ups and cramming for Prague Week, though uh, to set the Guinness Book of Records, world records, most simultaneous push-ups, there had to be an enormous amount of push-ups. Beyond you, beyond, but all of you, uh, I think you had some fun along the way. Maybe a good use of your epic passes. That would be reason enough to join. When I was graduating from high school 300 years ago, <laughs> I applied to the Naval Academy. And I was picked by the senator. There's two ways senators can pick. They can pick individually, or they can name 10 people and let the academy choose. And I was a relatively good football player, so I had a shot. And I remember the day that a guy named Steve Dunning from my class was also nominated. Drove up, it was about 7 in the morning, we were going to drive down to Annapolis, and I had just heard the night before, they had a halfback named Joe Bellino, won the Heisman Trophy, and a quarterback named Roger Staubach. I went to Delaware. <laughs> the food insecurity, the natural disasters, all of which are being made worse by the existential threat of climate change. I don't hear many of my friends anymore saying there's no climate change. We're finally figured it out. I've been trying to push that since 1981. A few months ago, I called to speak to my national security advisor. He was out here. But I was told he was unavailable. Turns out, first Andrew Deaver had him out doing loops and barrel rolls on a glider. I asked if I could do that today, and the, Supreme, and the uh, Secret Service said, no, we'll have to shoot it down. <laughs> I met in the Oval Office, in my office, with 12 leading, no, excuse me, eight leading scientists in the area of AI. Some are very worried that AI can actually overtake human thinking and planning. So we got a lot to deal with. We've elevated the quad bringing together Australia, India, Japan, and the United States to advance an Indo-Pacific that's free and open, prosperous and secure, didn't exist before.